the clear state, when do you imagine the time will be that will be the last man or woman standing? When do you hope to have full evacuation? Uh, our timescales plan on August the 31st uh, for uh, the evacuation of all the people that we would have said was in the hopper, those people that are, pa are passing or have passed security checks, those people that are effectively have a ticket to ride uh, uh, and indeed uh, get out the three cohorts that I think I told you about last week, which were entitled personnel, British passport holders, uh, uh, British officials, uh, and indeed then um, obviously all those Afghans. And, and I think to be clear to your listeners, we are only now in Afghanistan and have been for the last two weeks to process those people. We're not in it for, uh, you know, we're not, we're not doing other diplomatic functions. We are simply there to process all those British passport holders and all those people we have an obligation to. And, you know, our men and women of our armed forces are risking their lives in doing that, but that is the right thing to do. They've risked their lives the last 20 years. Uh, and, uh, you know, our, at the very least, our obligation has to be as many of these people through the pipeline as possible. But I, I, I think I also said, and it's, and it's a really deep part of regret for me, um, some people won't get back. Some people won't get back, and um, we will have to uh, do our best in third countries to process those people. Why do you feel it so personally, Mr. Wallace? Because <laughs> I'm a soldier. Um, because it's sad, and the West has done what it's done. And we have to do our very best, Nick, to get people out and stand by our obligations. And 20 years of sacrifice um, is what it is. <laughs>